Hello? Hello? Hi, my name is yes. I'm calling from Lab Services. May yes. I speak to Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm calling in reference to one of your fully covered Medicare benefits. What it is is an at-home <coughs> saliva genetic test, and what it does is it tests to see how well your body is metabolizing the current medication that you could be taking, okay. as well as anything that you might be taking over the counter. And then the second part of it, that it tests pretty much your family okay, history yes. for any risk risk of hereditary types of cancers that could have been passed down. Um, I can have that sent out to you and it will mm -hmm. arrive around on Friday. And that, again, that's no cost to you if you're interested since it's fully paid for by Medicare. All I would need to do is ask mm -hmm. you a couple of questions and confirm your date of birth. Okay? Is that something I can go ahead and move forward with What now? is that about? Can you tell me more? Yeah, I definitely can. So essentially, I'll let everyone know that I believe it's truly beneficial mostly for your doctors because if you do have medications that you're taking right now, mm -hmm. they can see if it's working really well with your body at that dosage level or if they need to lower it or raise it or change it in any way. It lets them really see how mm -hmm. it works with your body, and it helps to avoid any unwanted adverse drug reactions. Now, the other one that's more specific yeah. to test for risk of cancer, it doesn't let you know if you okay, have cancer yeah. or anything like that right now, but let's say you have children or grandchildren. That information, knowing if any of these risks were passed down to them, can uh -huh. allow them to be more proactive with their health care. Does that make sense? Okay. So, yeah, so I think it would be something that you could definitely benefit from um, with your health care. I just want to ask you a couple of quick questions. First off being, okay, yes. is your date of birth January 3rd of 19? <laughs> okay, perfect. I just wanted to confirm, make sure we have the right person, of course, you know. Now, the other questions that I have, they're a little bit more um, medical specific, but they mm -hmm. are very quick. It takes about five minutes, okay? So I'm going to just jump right on in. Um, have you ever experienced any forms of cancer? And that can also include skin cancer, melanomas, or polyps. Huh. Have you ever had any of those? Oh, boy, I'm just thinking about things. Go ahead. Well, I don't know. What, what, hello, you called me. You know, the weather here is, like, real bad, I was thinking. Well, how's your weather, by the way? So I'm calling out of Oklahoma. So right now our weather is a little bit gloomy, but overall it's a pleasant day. Is it storming on your yeah. end? Yeah. It is. Gotcha. Well, hopefully it passes. Unless you'll need the rain, then mm -hmm. I guess let it come on down, right? <laughs> I know we need a little bit of rain, so hopefully y'all can send it this way. Yes. Now, Mr. C do you know if you've, you've never, have you ever yeah. had any cancer? You have. What kind? Mm -hmm. Was it like, what kind of cancer was it? Okay. Can you hear me? Well, I don't know. I'm, you know, the weather's very bad here, and you're calling me. I can't really concentrate on what you think because we got a storm out here, and I'm thinking of Florida last year. That's where I was, and the weather was beautiful. And I just think of the beautiful sun, sunshine, and I'm here uh, freezing, you know. But uh, you called me. It was really nice talking to you. I hear your voice, but tell me what what you call me for. Oh yes, sir. So I'm calling in reference to a home genetic test that's already been paid for by uh -huh. Medicare. A lot of times people don't know that it's paid for already, so that's why we give you all a call instead. Yeah. So I can send this out to you, and it will arrive on Friday. And then once you okay. receive it. You can give us a call, or if you don't get to us in time, I can call you, and Good. we'll walk you through how to take the test. And essentially, it's going to be a mouth swab, so a long cute tip that you rub okay, on the inside yeah. of your cheek. And the other one's a spit test, so you'll spit into a little test tube. And again, we'll use mm -hmm. that information to check and see how well your your medications are working with your body. Mm -hmm. And again, to check for any hereditary cancer risks. Okay. So, 
I can definitely have that out for you. I'm just going to ask you a couple of more questions, okay? Okay, yes. Do you do you know what was the name of the cancer that you had or what area of the body that it affected? Mm -hmm. Or is there anyone who could help you go through these questions with me? Yeah. Okay. Um, are they available right now? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, are, you real? Are, you, are you a real person or is it uh, a robot calling me or a, a tape? What is it? No. <laughs> I can't understand why you're calling me. Can you tell me more about it? Oh. Yes, sir. So I'm calling you because um, this is something that is now being completely covered by Medicare, meaning that Medicare is paying for it. Um, it's an at-home genetic test. So that's what you're and calling, we're just me calling about? you about? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Because I guess Medicare realized that if they, you know, find out some of this information sooner, it'll decrease the cost that they have for like medical yeah. expenses that you all may have. So, if uh -huh. like if you do take the test, then and you send the result and you know send the samples back that we're trying to collect from you, then that information will get ran and then they'll call you with the results. Okay. Once you have the results, um, you can even request a hard copy that you can give to your doctor. And again, that'll just keep your doctor sounds, informed on how too good your medications to be true. are working. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But I think they're just doing it to kind of alleviate how things are going in the healthcare industry. And I think it's a really good step because uh -huh. if people are taking more preventative actions, then it just minimizes costs not only for the big companies but also for you all. You uh -huh. know? So I'm going to go ahead and have you just hold on a minute and come back to me in a few seconds. I'll be right back, okay? Just hold on. Okay. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry to hold you up. What 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 what's this, what would you call me for? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, let's see. So I don't know if you remember, but we were talking about the genetic test that we have available yeah. that was um paid for by Medicare. And it's just really a saliva test. The saliva test, oh. um it again, it checks for hereditary cancer risk. That could be passed down mm -hmm. to not only, you know, you, yourself from, like, your previous parents or grandparents, but also down to, like, kids or grandkids or anything Good. like that. And, and again, that information is more helpful to make sure that they can be proactive with yeah. their health care in the future, you know. And then the other part of the test is just to make sure that the medications that you are <laughs> taking, even anything over the counter, such as, like, aspirin or fish oil or anything like that, making sure that it's working well with your body. And that allows your doctors to make sure that you're not having any, like, adverse side effects, uh -huh. that could, you know, that's not going to be good for you. And if any changes needed to be made, it'll keep uh -huh. your doctors informed. Yes, sir. Now, we're almost done here, uh, mm -hmm. John. Just a couple of more questions. Now, can you tell me, has anyone in your family ever had uh -huh. cancer also? Hello, John. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Has, has any of your family members ever had cancer also? Uh -huh. John, can you hear me? Uh, this, it doesn't stop, you know, and it's not easy for me to get off the chair every two seconds and run to the door. Uh, okay. Oh, is someone at the what door? Is it? I can call what you back what are you what are you are you selling anything? So selling not per se, since it's already paid for by Medicare, so I wouldn't be charging you anything, no. Um Okay. But I am trying to send out a kit to you. And that kit again includes that test that we've talked about a bit here today. Mm. And it also has some supplemental information in it if you wanted to read more about it. I know that I have some mm -hmm. people who are even, you know, taking the kit itself and showing their doctors, letting them their doctors know that this is something mm. that they'll be doing. And a lot of times the doctors are excited about it too because that means it's something that for sure, mm -hmm. you know, the me the patient they don't have to pay for and they can still get those results and then Okay. Everyone can kind of really move forward with this information. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Oh. You there? Okay, yes. John, 
Are you there? Now, I know you said that you had to get up and get the door. It, if you're busy, I can't call you back. Mm-hmm. John, yes. do you have someone who can help you with these questions? Yeah. Okay. What's their name? I go to the drugstore. The drugstore costs me a fortune for those pills. It's amazing how much they charge for these pills. And, like, you can go bankrupt just swallowing these pills. And I don't see any. I'm not getting any better. You're not. See, then that's going to be very important, too, that you get these test results because if they're not having the effect on your body how they should, okay, then yeah. that will let your doctor know that they need to change something. You know what my problem is? I don't feel too good these days. And I go, I, I call my doctor and I tell my doctor, I get kafluchas at my tuchas. And they don't even know what it means. It, it really hurts. And nobody seems to know what kafluchas is. Now, if you know, and there's medication for it, I'd be very interested in knowing about it. Gotcha. So I specifically um, don't know what medications would serve for that, but this test might be able to help give your doctor some insight on what other prescriptions might be more mm -hmm. beneficial, and it might give them some insight on the te on the you know the medication that you're referring to. Oh, you know, I have uh, I got a lot of parts of my body that hurt. I have a back, got a shoulder, yeah. got shoulder problem, I got knee problems. I mean, uh, slowly uh, my uh, it's, my body's breaking down. Oh, excuse me. What did okay. you say? Is the medicines that you're taking? Yeah, the medicines that you're taking for your body. You said you don't feel like they're helping right now. Is that correct? Oh, uh, hold on a minute. Okay, hold on. I'm watching the television. Here, there's a hockey game on. Oh, hold on. Hold. There's a penalty. Hold on. Let me. I'll, I'm going to play it back to you. Okay, just hang in there for a minute. Hello. Yeah. Uh, do you know anything about hockey? I'm here. Let me hold. Let me close. Let me lower the TV for a minute because I don't hear you. Okay. Hey, we just got a penalty. My man's in the box. So, uh, what did you call me about? Yes, sir. My, um, I'm calling in reference to an at-home saliva genetic test, and it'll test for, um, you know, any adverse. Mm -hmm. reactions to any medications that you're having, as well as any risk for hereditary cancers that could be passed down to mm -hmm. grandchildren or children, or if it was even passed on to you or anything like that. It will kind of just give you information mm -hmm. on how to proceed with your health care. Now, we've talked for a little bit now, and you told me that oh. you don't think that the medications that you're taking already are doing much good. Is that right? Good. If you don't believe that they're working very well for you, this mm -hmm. test, the results, could very well help your doctor and give him some guidance as far mm -hmm. as what to prescribe you that will work better with your body. Okay? So I'm going to ask you just a couple yeah. more questions. Once once I get those answers, I'll let you get right back to your game because I know it's very important. You never want to miss mm -hmm. anything like that, you know? So um, can you tell me, um, have you ever had cancer before? Okay. Yeah, is that is that a yes? I don't know what you call me, but can you start all over? Yes, sir, I can. So again, um, it's an at-home saliva genetic test that was paid for by Medicare. Um, mm -hmm. So it's no charge to you, and it takes about forty-eight hours to receive the package. So you could receive it on Friday, mm -hmm. right? And then the test has two parts to it. The first the first mm, yes, part lets yes. you know how well your how well your body's metabolizing different medications that you may be taking. And the second okay, part yes. tests for hereditary types of cancer risk that could be passed down in your family. Good. So do you think you're interested in that? Like are you familiar with yes. like you realize you have Medicare, correct? Well, hold on, hold on, he just scored a he just scored a goal. Three two now, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you just start over again? John, I have a quick question for you. Do you have someone who can help you go through these questions with me today? Yeah. Okay. Um, are they available? Good. 
Are they available, sir? Yeah. Okay. If you need to grab someone, I'll wait. Mm. Are they with you right now? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. You said you had someone available to help you with their questions. Are they available now? Oh, I can't understand that. You better tell me a little bit more about it. 